Hello and welcome in this video. I will present you a technical overview of the Estening V3 Power. The objective of this video is first to present you the technical features of this Estening and then to explain how to use it to debug and measure common consumption of a microcontroller. The Estening V3 Power is a 2-in-1 standalone debugger probe and source measurement unit that supplies and measures the current consumption of any microcontroller centric application. It is designed to synchronize code execution with the power consumption of STM32 applications in real time. This tool is specially adapted for power consumption optimization. The Estelling V3 Power can be used as a standalone source measurement unit to supply power and measure the current consumption of a target application. It can also use as a standalone debugging and programming probe for STM32 microcontrollers, like the other Estelink. The main feature of this debug probe is the possibility to monitor the current consumption waveform of an application and acquire helpful data to improve firmware performance and quality. For example, you can monitor and verify average power consumption when the firmware is running. This ST-Link will also be useful to check the current waveform present while the application is running to ensure any misconfiguration or timing constraints. It's really practical to reduce the number of external devices or peripheral configurations to smooth the current call waveform. Additionally, the ST-Link V3 Power helps ensure that there is no issue with the code execution it allows synchronization of the current consumption waveform with the debug trace, which is very useful when debugging the application. Concerning the hardware, the Estelink V3 Power allows easy access to all its functionalities, which are supply, debug, and control an application. It has three connectors dedicated to those usage. An STDC14 debug connector, which allows debugging of the microcontroller target, Power connectors to power the microcontroller and acquire the current consumption waveform with the connector. A bridge connector which offers more functionalities including controlling a target application. And finally, four control LEDs which allow you to monitor the status of this ST-Link at any time. First, to use the ST-Link V3 power, it must be connected to a USB Type A host PC a up port supporting charging with a Spark logo or to a USB Type C host. You must use a sufficiently powerful USB port to allow full use of this ST-Link. If USB delivers less than 500 microamps, this ST-Link V2 power works only for debug uses and not allow you to use supply and current measurement features. Being a standard ST-Link debug probe, the Estelink V3 Power has a debug connector with the STDC14 connector to connect the SWD or GTAG interface of any STM32. It also provides two UART signals for the virtual COM port. The related pinout for the debug connector is listed in this table. Note that NC means not connected. Regarding the input reference voltage for debug interface level shifters, it must be connected to the target application on the VDDIO domain. The SWO pin is optional and required only for serial wire viewer tracing. The bridge connector allows access to other widely used ST-Link functionality. Indeed, the ST-Link V3 Power implements a USB interface dedicated to the function of bridging USB to SPI, I2C, and CAN of the STM32 microcontroller target and controlling for GPIOs. This interface is mainly used by STM32 Cube programmer to allow target programming through SPI R2C CAN bootloader. This bridge interface also integrates input output trigger signals. The trigger input and output signals can be used to start an acquisition from an external digital event or generate an output digital event while the acquisition is running, for example, when the current acquisition waveform is above or below a configured threshold. Now let's talk about the power interface. This interface allows supplying the target application 
via two independent programmable power sources, OUT and AUX. OUT is a programmable voltage regulated used to power source and measure the target current consumption. AUX is only programmable voltage regulated power source which can be used, for example, to supply some application peripherals. The Estelink V3 power has four bicolor LEDs which allow you to know the status of the product at any time. The assigned function of each LED is noticed on the housing. The USB LED indicates the power budget provided by the host PC. This LED shows the Estelink status. Out LED indicates the source measurement unit output and current measuring state and the AUX LED indicates the out output state. You will find in details the meaning of each LED status in the user manual 1397. Here are presented three common examples of LED status. In the first case, the ST-Link is simply connected to the host PC. The green USB LED indicates that the host PC can provide enough energy for source measurement unit and AUX features. The red COM LED indicates that the ST-Link V3 power is waiting for an application to connect. In the second example, the OUT and AUX LEDs are green, which indicates that the ST-Link is delivering power to the OUT and AUX outputs. And finally, when measuring current, the green OUT LED is blinking, as in the last example. I will now introduce you to the power capability of the ST-Link V3 power. The ST-Link V3 power allows you to simultaneously power and measure the current consumption of a microcontroller. This management of the power supply and consumption measurement through the OUT pin is managed by the internal source measurement unit circuit which is presented in this slide. The ST-Link V3 power has a unique analog circuit composed of amplifiers, comparators and regulation loops to provide a programmable and stabilized supply. It also had shunt resistors to perform high dynamic range and accurate current to voltage conversion to acquire the current consumption waveform. The source measurement unit output voltage is programmable from 1.6 to 3.6 volt by 100 millivolt step. It can source at maximum a 500 milliamp continuous output current. It has an excellent load transient response even for a transient starting from very low current to high current with fast current rise. This is especially suitable to supply for example an STM32 microcontroller operating for standby mode to run mode without impacting its power supply voltage. The power consumption measurement is based on two key elements, determining the current value and regularly sampling this electrical parameter. The main elements for current to voltage conversion is a shunt resistor, which is precise low resistor dedicated to establish a correspondence between the current passing through it and the voltage development between its terminals. By measuring the voltage at the terminals of the shunt resistor and knowing its resistor value, the current value is easy to calculate. The Estelink V3 power has four parallel analog paths each occupying a different current range to cover a large dynamic range of power consumption. Their selections are fully automated at runtime by post-processing algorithm allowing a continuous current acquisition from a few nanoamp to 500 microamp. The acquisition of the current consumption waveform is performed with an analog to digital converter at programmable sample rate which allows the building of the current consumption waveform. The Estelink V3 power has a fixed bandwidth of 50 kHz and a programmable sampling rate from 1 sample per second to 100 kilo sample per second. The sampling rate selection has impacts on measurements. Using the maximum sampling rate allows the user to catch fast current transients activities, but it increases the nose level, making small current variation hidden in the nose level. Reciprocally, 
Using the minimum sampling rate allows the user to measure small current variations and average the noise, but it smooths fast current transient activities. The ST-Link V3 Power has built-in self-calibration circuit to compensate for the current measurement offset due to the temperature variation. A self-calibration is automatically performed during current measurement acquisition every plus or minus 5 degrees temperature change inside the ST-Link V3 Power. During the self-calibration sequence, the ST-Link keeps the output voltage enabled, but the ST-Link stops sending measurement data to the host PC. Once the self-calibration sequence ends, the ST-Link V3 Power restarts sending measurements data to the host PC. The source measurement unit output is protected against overcurrent, higher than defined protection threshold, and short circuits. It can safely tolerate short overcurrents or peak currents before triggering an overcurrent protection. This is suitable to keep the target application operating without crashing during peak torsion activity where current consumption is higher than the defined protection threshold. You can find all specific values in the user manual 1397. As mentioned earlier, the ST-Link V3 Power is not only a debugging tool, it also allows you to power the target application and measure its current consumption in real time. We will see how to connect to ST-Link V3 Power to supply and debug a STM32 Nucleo, Discover or Eval board and measure its current consumption. STM32 Nucleo boards are mostly supplied by USB ST-Link connector with a 5V source by default. Those boards embedded one or several voltage regulators to supply the VDD of the STM32 microcontroller. The ST-Link V3 Power eliminates the need for power supply via USB cable and requires the target to be powered directly via VDD. That's why the board schematic and layout should be analyzed to connect the ST-Link V3 Power out supply source and GND ground reference correctly. In this first case, we will see how to connect the ST-Link V3 Power to supply a STM32U575 and measure the microcontroller consumption. To do this, we need to connect the out pin of the ST-Link V3 Power directly to the VDD MCU of the Nucleo board. By analyzing the board schematic, we can see that the VDD MCU is available on one of the pins of the jumper GP5. Here are the connection and change needed. From the basic configuration of the Nucleo U575, you need to open jumper GP5. Then, you need to connect the out of the ST-Link to the VDD MCU pin. Just be careful, the GP5 pins are reversed on the Nucleo board. VDD MCU corresponds to the left pin of GP5 and VDD corresponds to the right pin of GP5. With this configuration, we directly supply the microcontroller and we can precisely measure its consumption in real time. In addition to providing the power supply and measuring consumption, the ST-Link V3 Power allows to debug target through its STDC14 debug connector. To do this, we must supply the Nucleo board differently than before to respect certain conditions of use. Indeed, the Nucleo board must supply via the VDD power line and not the VDD MCU as before, which is used by the debugger to define the input reference voltage value necessary for communication between the MCU and the ST-Link. We will see in the following example what changes and connections are necessary to do this. First, the ST-Link V3 power should be simply connected to the target application on the CN5 debug connector with the cable available in the ST-Link V3 power kit. The GP1 jumper needs to be closed to reset the internal Nucleo ST-Link because we will use an external debug probe. The USB CN1 needs to be not connected. In fact, we will power the Nucleo with ST-Link V3 power and not with the USB cable. The GP4 jumper needs to be open. This allows the VDD to be disconnected from the output of the regulator voltage 1V8 and 3V3. And finally, 
the GP5 jumper needs to be closed to ensure the link between the VDD and the VDD MCU. Now we can connect the SD-Link V3 power to the target as shown in this slide. There are certain limitations with this type of use. Indeed, the Nucleo U575 has two level shifters used on the Virtualcom ports and SWD interfaces to provide debugging capability when the MCU is powered by a 1.8 volt supply. These two level shifters are powered by the VDD line and they are not disconnectable. Consequently, this will add a slight additional consumption to major consumption by the ST-Link V3 power. In terms of software tools, the ST-Link V3 power can be used with the STM32 Cube Monitor Power software, which manages the power interface of the ST-Link probe. It uses to dedicate the Power Virtual Com port to communicate with the probe and retrieve the current waveform acquisition samples. STM32 Cube Monitor Power allows you to monitor and analyze the current consumption of STM32 microcontrollers in real time. It provides a graphical user interface that displays power consumption. To use it in the easiest way, you just need to follow the following steps. First, launch STM32 Cube Monitor Power and select an available virtual COM port. Click on Tech Control to connect the ST-Link V3 power and start its configuration with the Acquisition and Replay panel on the left side. For the configuration, we can set several parameters, like for example the sampling frequency parameter and the input voltage used to supply the microcontroller. After turning the application power on with the power on button, set the acquisition time to the desired duration for example 10 seconds, and then click on Start Acquisition, the green out LED is now blinking. The graphical interface allows you to zoom and pan inside the current waveform acquisition. Finally, the Shown Reports button allows you to access to statistical data, minimum, maximum, average, etc. etc. If necessary, the acquisition waveform can be saved or reloaded with the Save Graph and Add Data Log buttons. This video allowed us to discover the Estating V3 Power, to understand its technical functionalities, and to understand how to connect it to your microcontroller, to power it, and to measure its current consumption. Thank you for your attention, and see you in the next video.